It's the weekend here at Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, July 22nd, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. We've officially entered the dog days of summer, and in the world of bodybuilding, that can mean only one thing. The USA Championships are right around the corner. And if you're looking for an early favorite to hitch your wagon to in the light heavyweight class, it might not be a bad idea to roll the dice on this year's junior national champion, Adam Young. Young is another product of the Mile High Mecca, who's looking to come in and avenge the good old fashioned thumping he took at last year's USA's. Right now, Young is heading into next weekend's USA with what is clearly the best conditioning we've seen from him up to this point. And it seems like he's poised to fare well in what's traditionally been a very tough class. If he focuses on coming in as sharp as possible and avoids the trap of trying to come in too full, he should have a legitimate shot to vie for the title before all is said and done. Speaking of former junior national winners heading out to the USA, who also just so happened to be training out at the Mile High Mecca, it looks like Dorian Haywood is also jumping back in to take another crack at earning his IFBB Pro card. Haywood is the 2014 junior national overall champ and two-time USA top 10 finisher, who's coming off another major win at last weekend's NPC Colorado Championships, where he took both the super heavyweight and overall titles. Haywood brought what was probably his best combination of fullness and conditioning ever, and with another week or so to keep tightening things up, it's entirely possible that he hits the USA stage and blows away his all-time best. Haywood's always had the muscle, but in years past, the one thing that's really held him back was a lack of consistency in the conditioning department. But now that he's already in shape and has a little bit of momentum at his back, look for Haywood to challenge for the title. Improvement season seems to have done a body good for second year 212 pro Tristan Escalastico. This week, new photos surfaced of the former North American champ looking about as big and as freaky as we've ever seen him, sparking up some internet chatter that he might be in the early stages of this year's first contest prep. Last season, Escalastico made a splash in his pro debut at the Phoenix Europa Pro, where he ended up taking home a very solid fourth place finish in what turned out to be the deepest 212 lineup we saw outside of the Olympia all season. Escolastico has really done some growing over the last 12 months, but doesn't seem to have lost any of the sharp lines and symmetry that make his physique pop. If he is indeed planning to hit the stage later this season, it'll be interesting to see if he's able to manage that new muscle and still suck down to 212, or if he'll decide to make the jump to the open and see how well he's able to stack up. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Kieran Newman. After setting the world on fire with her 2015 comeback campaign that included two big wins at the Crystal Cup and Chicago Pro, Newman closed out the year with an emphatic bang by delivering a second place Olympia performance that left everyone in Las Vegas buzzing. But after a big disappointing 11th place performance to kick off the season back at the Arnold Classic, we really haven't heard much from one of the more charismatic competitors in the entire women's physique division. At her best, Newman brings a look and energy to the stage that just radiates a supreme level of confidence. But you have to wonder if taking so much time off during the season is going to impact her performance. A 100% Kira Newman is absolutely good enough to land a spot right back in the top three. But whether or not she can dig deep down and recreate the magic of last season's run still remains to be seen. We're about 40 days away from witnessing bodybuilding history at the upcoming Arnold Asia, where last year's Arnold Amateur winner and rookie IFBB pro Lucas Weiler will be looking to bring his talents back to the stage for the second time this season. Earlier in the year, Weiler delivered on the hype when he put together a very impressive look to take ninth at the Arnold Classic, where he managed to one-up fellow rookie Cody Montgomery. A few weeks ago, Weiler announced that he would be officially preparing for the Arnold Asia with the hope of snagging a last-minute Olympia qualification to put a cherry on top of what's been an outstanding rookie season thus far. 
Given the lineup heading into Asia, we can say that the 260 plus pound Weiler is certainly going to have the size to hold his own. And if he can bring in the same level of conditioning we saw back in Columbus, I don't think a top five finish is out of the question. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!